Hey fellas, a uh, quick video for YouTube. Anybody doing a rebuild on a high pro diaphragm pump? Uh, I've got a little bit of a trick here I wanted to share. This is a 252 model, or uh, I guess the successor to the D19. You'd probably find the same kind of deal. Uh, or uh, an Anno Very Reverbery uh, D252. It's the uh, gearbox model, runs off a Honda engine. And I use this to uh, spray herbicides, fertilizers, insecticides throughout the course of the season. Um, typically, big day would be about 2,000 to 2,500 liters through the pump. And we're pumping iron-based herbicides, Fiesta, so it's, it's pretty tough on the pump. Um, so I wanted to show a trick how to get oil into it. And you'll notice I have the pump clocked 90 degrees from... Where it typically sits, I don't take the um, the pinion off the gearbox side when I do this. I just leave it on the engine. I got it sitting on some blocks of wood there, uh, so everything clears. And anybody that's done one of these knows that filling this thing up via the sight glass is a huge pain. Probably takes about 45 minutes to get all that oil in there. It's going to take 13 ounces of oil. So um, while I've got this tip sideways um, and I have the cylinder liner and the diaphragm there's a new diaphragm ready to go in um this uh the cylinder's opened up and i've got the liner out and that piston there and it's ring and i've got the uh, diaphragm cap screw in the hole just so that i i don't get uh, oil down where i've got so a little bit of loctite so anyway this is what I, this is what i got planned here we're just going to take the oil and uh put all of it right in the pump Probably won't be able to get all of it in. Look at that. Because we actually have got to get it up in the sight glass. And uh, we'll let that settle out momentarily. And then we'll throw the uh, cylinder liner and the diaphragm and put on the, uh, the cap. So this pump is about, I think it's 2014 or 2015. So I've been using it for either four or five years. Moderate use, not, not crazy use. And you can see the... Uh, Erosion there in the diaphragm cap and there's quite a bit more on the other side. This is the better side and uh, Every season I break it down change out the check valves replace the o-rings clean everything as best as I can a brass brush Maybe some phosphoric acid uh, to clean this out in the the I guess the Coating on the aluminum is is almost completely gone So uh, I would anticipate I'm gonna need to replace this entire a section here because this is what you can see so inside the pumps can be a little bit worse So every season I break it down replace uh, everything. I always keep the check valves because I usually don't break those ever since I switched to a, a much better strainer and um, I just keep them in the truck in case I, I plug one up or I, It doesn't see properly, but here's the check valves from last year and they're, they're doing pretty good Nothing really wrong with those the main problem I have with this is you can see that I've, I've got the black diaphragm and the, uh, the pulsation dampener. For some reason, I always tear the, the pulsation dampener. So that's definitely uh, going to get replaced. And the diaphragms, these don't look too bad at all. I think there's one nick in the other side. And that's what uh, a season looks like on these things. Bar barely any visible wear, but while you have it apart, you might as well, you might as well replace everything. Anyway, hopefully this uh, tip here helps somebody out when they're doing a rebuild on their high pro uh, pump. All right, thanks for watching.